just some more SMD soldering. I wanna reflow four of these sub-16 packages onto these breakout boards. And uh, yeah, for the breakout boards, see the mailbag video card link. And I will do this using that heat plate here. I already used that heat plate once on a single, I think it was a SOP8 package on a single breakout board. Um, yeah, card link. Uh, but this time, yeah, four at once. We'll see how that works out. Um, anyway, um, there's also a mailbag video for this heat plate again card link. Let's get started. First we got to get some solder paste on these pads. A little rework might here be in order. I mean, normally it should just, uh, you know, <clears throat> flow together on the pad when it's heated, but uh, yeah, you never know. Yeah, that was much messier than I expected. Uh, <laughs> I think I put much too much on it on the first go, but mm, yeah. Let's try it anyway. <clears throat> Pin one is in this corner. Okay, uh, let's reflow that and see what happens. So the heating plate is cold now and I'm switching it on now.
Okay, fast chip float. Second chip. Okay, that was the last one. Okay, switching the heat off again. <coughs> Sorry. And that doesn't need to bake here any longer as necessary. So from an optical point of view, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, but we shall do an electric test if there are any shorts. So if it beeps, we have a connection. On no short. No short. No short. So, perfect. All pins connected, no shorts between adjacent pins. Yeah, um, that reflow stuff is really for giving. I mean, you saw the mess I made here on the board when I tried to apply the solder paste, but it worked out quite well. And yeah, that's also a testament to the quite good solder mask on these breakout boards. Yeah, there was already a cut in the link. I guess that's it for today in regards to SMD reflow soldering. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Bye.